guys, we meet again on a different platform. Thank you so much for tuning to this particular video. So today I'm going to show you how to make uh, your barbecue beef and I'm using these ribs and I'm going to show you step by step on how I'm going to make those bad boys. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> First thing first, we are going to wash our ribs and remove any membrane from them. Make sure your sink is impeccably clean. And I'm going to show you how we are going to clean this meat. So I was just removing it from the package here before I put it in my sink. My sink was very clean. I washed it well. Then I rinse off this blood from them. As you can see, the meat looks red. So I was rinsing off the blood before I started getting personal with my meat, like really personal. Guys, I know this is not the best way to handle meat, but I had no choice. I just did my uh, stick on, so I was okay to go. Yeah, I was good to go. So I'm just adding vinegar and I'm using white vinegar. You can also use lime or lemon. They work the same, they tenderize your meat and they also clean it. So here I'm just struggling to cut that membrane. Of which I'm going to remove it. So, as you can see, my meat looks clean. It also looks pale red. It doesn't look as pink or as red uh, the way we removed them from the package. So, this is how you can tell that your meat is cleaned. And as you can see, the color has changed and no blood is oozing out of them. So, this is basically how I do. And now we will go step by step on how I remove my membrane. Then, I'm going to do the rest of them offline. And get back to you when everything is cleaned up and everything looks good so at this point I'm taking my paper towels and I'm just dabbing the excess water be very careful because you might leave your paper towels all over so be fast Well, this is not the best way to handle meat, but this is how I do it. Then I'm going just to take all this membrane off. So I'm going to show you one, how I take the membrane off and trim off the excess parts because we don't need that. And the excess fat, all the excesses, yeah? All the excess so it's even slippery so i'm going to so the reason why we are removing the membrane it's because when you hit this membrane in the oven or even in a grill pan it will become so tough and it will look like plastic so the reason why we are removing this membrane before applying our dry rub so that we can just prevent it from getting that barrier of making our meat not to get all the spices. So that's why I'm trying to get all the membrane out as I can because it forms a barrier and your meat will not be spiced even if you spice it when it has the membrane. The meat will not be getting all the flavors from your spices because the membrane will be a barrier for those spices. I hope that is clear. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to get all the membrane out so that before I spice it up, everything will be clear. Although this meat had a lot of membrane, you can see I'm struggling, but I tried my level best. I was not able to get everything out, but at least I removed what I felt like it was not supposed to be there. So guys, I'm done removing the membrane. As you can see, I was not able to get it all out, but this is what we got out, the silver lining. And now we are going to spice this 
uh, meat up then I'm going to show you our next process so for our spices I'm going to use garlic powder paprika turmeric black pepper I'm also using oregano and sugar so I'm going to show you what we're going to do I'm going to mix everything we are making our own dry rub so here we were just uh, mixing all the spices together and i was just putting a reasonable amount without even measuring this is because i was just putting uh, some for the meat and sparing some for our sauce which i'm going to show you how we make our sauce so please follow what i'm doing this was not as detailed as i wanted it to be because if it could have been detailed it could have taken the entire day explaining so let's just follow okay so the next thing is to spice them up as you can see i have my spice rub here so what i'm going to do is just putting the spice rub on top So I'm letting my meat sit for a minute before I preheat my oven. Then I'm going to show you the next process. So I preheated my oven at 180 degrees or you can just do 360 Fahrenheit. Then I'm preparing my pan and I did that for 10 minutes before I started preparing my pan. So I'm just letting the oven heat up as I apply this um, sheet on top of my pan this is a foil and i'm doing this just to prevent grease from getting to my pan plus washing a pan that comes out of the oven is too much work so here i'm just adding oil then smear it before i put my meat on top of it to avoid my meat sticking although this meat is going to be very tender and very juicy so i'm just arranging my meat on this foil like I'm doing a voiceover and I'm salivating, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I just made sure that the meat was okay, not laying on each other. And I tried as my level best to make sure there were spaces because I was just... So I'm going to add this juice just here. A space when I, I was adding this juice. And this one is just like a water bath, but not really a water bath. I saw this trick on Gina Yang's recipes and I tried it and it worked. Actually, I've been using the same. I just wanted to be sure that there's somebody else doing the same thing. I don't look crazy. So, yeah. So, our oven has preheated very well. You have to be very careful because it's even smoking. So I'm going to put this meat and I'm going to put it in the middle just like that then close the oven and you're not supposed to open the oven until the timer rings so I'm going to put it for one hour as we prepare our sauce I just want it to heat up and I'm going to use add this and I'm just going to put like half of it and this barbecue sauce to be so nice I'm going to add honey just a reasonable amount of honey then I'm going to add our spices remember our spice rub yes we're going to add that and i'm going to cook this on low until everything comes together very sweet until everything cooks down so this is basically what i do then i'm also going to add just a little soy sauce I'm preparing the sauce that we're going to apply. 
fly or even deep in our, our, our ribs in them. I know it's not actually real ribs, but this is what I got. And yeah, so I'm going to put just a reasonable amount of soy sauce. Soy sauce has uh, salt, so you have to be very careful. I just want to darken our sauce. So our spice has garlic. Uh, the oil itself was infused. I think I need some more. The oil itself was infused with garlic. I just put the the oil and garlic together on top of a stove and let the garlic cook, but don't burn it. Then you you're going to infuse your oil with garlic. That is simply what I did and just used a little of that oil before adding my sauce, okay? So here I'm just letting it bubble because I'm going to put it on a grill or on our oven. So I didn't want it to cook fully, but I wanted again to add vinegar and I kept testing just to adjust the taste of the barbecue sauce. So guys, that is basically what I've done. I'm going to be right back and show you after we've removed our meat and we've sauce it up, we'll put them back in the oven for a couple of minutes to show you after I have removed the meat out of the oven, then I spice it up with the sauce that we made. The sauce is the sauce. It looks so rich, it looks so good. Yeah, here's the sauce. So I'm going to show you what it will look like after we've applied our sauce. Please stay tuned. I'm already salivating. The timer is almost up, so I know these ribs are cooked to perfection, like well done. So guys, let's wait and see how this will turn out. So the time is now. We're going to remove this. And you have to be very careful when you're using a hot oven. Very careful. As you can see, it's very juicy. We have the... You can see our meat is fully cooked. It's even falling off the bone, like so. So all I'm going to do is to drain this water, then I put the sauce on, put them back in the oven, then remove them after 15 minutes. back to the oven this is how they look like so i'm taking them back to the oven after 10 minutes i'm going to show you how they will look so i might remove them then add more sauce put them back in the oven until i'm satisfied with the consistency our meat is out of the oven and this is how it looks so i'm just going to cut just a piece so that you can see how it looks it has the sauce and everything So it basically falls off like this. See how it looks, how tender it looks. So here, take a bite. I'm going to. It is very tender, very soft, and very sweet. I can't wait to share this with my family. So thank you very much for watching. Till we meet next time, thank you so much for subscribing, keep on subscribing to my channel. I just want to give you a close look on how the beef looks like. Please don't mind, I've really cut this beef, like I enjoyed this beef before even serving, you know. So we've come to the end of our video and this is what we have as our final product. I'm so happy it has turned out so well. 
like I've even tasted it and it's so sweet I can't wait to share it with my family so thank you so much for watching Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2021 make sure you try this recipe and get back to me tell me if you loved it if it was uh, okay to you if it wasn't you can still switch it up and get your favorite so this is what I did so thank you so much till you meet next time Bye-bye and God bless. Peace.